Hello YouTube, welcome to Mondays. I have my window open. That noise is from the uh, electric buses with like the wires overhead that go by. And also we have um, street cars, like historic type street cars. Oh, those are running right now actually. Yeah, so it's just like the super loud trains. Again, they have the wind chimes from the construction site out there. Why does that construction site need wind chimes? Like, I don't understand. Anyways, uh, tomorrow I need to go somewhere. That is kind of far into the East Bay. So I've just rented a car on Zipcar and I will be hopping into a vehicle tomorrow morning and then I'll be spending half the day there. I don't know if I can vlog any of it though, but if I can vlog some of it, I will vlog some of that for you guys. It is 4.45, ooh, it's 40.45. Ooh, that's a nice angle, 4.45 on the dot. I finished work a little early. I might need to hop back onto my laptop in like an hour or so, do a little bit more. I'm having some snacks right now, and then I'm gonna do dance practice, which means I need to clear my living room, but I need to do it out here. I've been trying to stay on top of new house listings that came out, but three new listings came out and I was trying to play with the settings on my phone so that it would tell me when those new emails came out, but apparently my phone didn't go off at all. I just need to make sure that if there's a good listing that I wanna put an offer in, I just need to do it immediately because it is still a somewhat competitive housing market down in LA. Are any of these listings remotely Nice, not this one, and not this one, and uh, okay, well the three new listings that came out, none of them are nice, so it will. All right, it is time for another haircut. I might put in a little bit of product because when there's no product in my hair at all, it's kind of hard to know exactly how to cut it. It's gonna be a little bit messy. Let's try to do it anyways. Okay, the haircut took a little longer than I thought. I kind of took my time. I was kind of enjoying cutting my hair, actually. It was a pleasant distraction from the everyday. One great piece of news I want to bring up today, the US Supreme Court has root on a case and it basically says that a federal law does protect LGBTQ workers from discrimination. I am not a lawyer. I don't know all like the nitty gritty details, but basically it looked like there were a few cases, three separate ones I think, that made it all the way to the Supreme Court. And it's about something called Title VII, which says something like in a workplace you can't discriminate against someone based on their sex. And the question was whether that extended to gender identity as well. And in the Supreme Court ruling today, they voted that it does extend to gender identity. So that's really awesome news. And it's also a little bit of nice, great, positive news that isn't covert related. A little bit of SF related news. I was having a little bit of a laugh on Twitter. Now I'm not on Twitter, but a couple of times lately I found that it was more helpful to look at the trending section in Twitter than look at actual news to see what is going on. Here in San Francisco, it made the news recently that there was a woman who was confronting a neighbor of hers and the neighbor had written BLM in chalk on the front of his property. But apparently people are saying that this woman who was white only confronted this person because he was black Therefore, he did not live beside her and that he was not her neighbor. But this is not just any woman. This was a CEO of some skincare company that I've never heard of. Now I'm reading another news article that says the husband of that woman is now fired. She's come up with an apology now, I think, but girl, that is just wrong. It's a horrible thing for people to be discriminating against others, being racist and confronting people like this. It's completely wrong. However, there were some funny memes on 
Twitter about this. I'm a little into skincare, but I've never heard of the skincare company that she's the CEO of. But honestly, I don't think that company is gonna be like super duper popular or successful for the next little bit. This is really fresh news that is again in the industry close and dear to my heart the gyms. 24 Hour Fitness is uh, one of the bigger fitness chains here in the US. I went to 24 Hour Fitness when I was living in WeHo in LA because they had a huge, really nice location. Here in San Francisco, I go to a local chain. Over the weekend, they announced that 10 of the Bay Area gyms were gonna permanently close down. Today, they filed for bankruptcy. Now, I'm just thinking they were like so close. A lot of places were getting close to the point where they're letting gyms reopen. Like I said before, the California government Governor has allowed counties to start opening gyms back up if they're ready. LA went ahead and did so last Friday. Now, this does not mean the company goes away to doing chapter 11, which basically lets them reorganize and kind of deal with the debt. All right, let's read some of your comments. Little Asian Kid Forever says, in honor of Pride Month, can you share with us more about your love life and what you struggle with? You look like you have a perfect life. Trust me, girl, this life ain't perfect. Through the magic of video editing, there's a lot that you don't see. I make it a point to have certain things not be in the public eye, things that don't go on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. But I can fairly honestly say there's nothing like majorly wrong in my life, if you will. I got a steady job, got some good friends. I'm thankful that I get to travel a decent amount, COVID notwithstanding. When I'm not traveling, I don't tend to go out that much. Whereas I think for a lot of people, they may not travel that much, but during their regular day-to-day, week-to-week, uh, they go out and hang out with friends a lot more. Love life? Uh, I mean, I meet my fair share of guys. M. Johnson says, once again, I really like your lip sync. Thank you. By the way, you should check out Chinese Bad Backstreet Boys. Oh yeah, that video went super, super viral. If you don't know what we're talking about, go Google it, it's on YouTube. This was from like quite a while ago. Land screws in general should be fine. It's they probably will be testing everyone who boards the ship. Yes, please take some videos from SoCal. It's been a while since I've been there. Mike says, miss you bunches, cruise us soon. You Mitch guy says, new fall, love your videos. Thank you. No idea how long it takes for you to edit these videos, but they're awesome. If I can ask, what motivates you to create them? Is it a bucket list kind of a thing? Or do you do it for friends and family? When I first started doing YouTube, way, way back, this was six or seven years ago. I did it just for fun because I started seeing other people on YouTube where they were doing daily vlogs and I thought, oh, that's like a really neat, fun concept. So I just decided to like try it out and then ever since I've been doing videos, at least somewhat regularly, there's probably been not a single month since I started YouTube six or seven years ago that I didn't put out a video. For the travel videos, uh, I do it because I really like being able to look back on those trips that I did and totally relive that whole experience in a way that photos just don't do it. JBTV says, I think you should move. You deserve to be in a space where you aren't dealing with the constant stress of construction. Yes, it's been like a year now, so I think I agree. Kevin says, I would be crazy having to stay in a construction zone constantly. Hope the mini trip relieves some quarantine stress. I second the notion of moving now. Take the plunge, new adventures chapter for you. I'm also leaning more and more towards just leaving every single day. John Stock says, I'm so proud of you, Joey. Have a great day and safe trip to SoCal. Thank you. Christopher says, they should have worked hours posted the work site you should check it and call and complain if they're working outside of the hours usually cities don't allow work all seven days of the week they almost never allow work after 6 p.m i'd be very surprised if they're allowed to work until midnight i will call and report them i'm tired i'm so tired i'm also thinking like someone else must have done this already right i'm just like so tired to like even deal with that i just want to get the fuck out of here he also said it was ashley simpson who was jessica simpson's sister whose name i couldn't remember thanks for that last month today comes from task Deville, people are so inconsiderate. I thought all this coronavirus pandemic, they would learn and shape up, but no, they still have the same unpleasant personalities. That was, I believe, in response to my little rant yesterday about that chick that couldn't be bothered to put on a face mask, holding her pizza, standing in the middle of the elevator lobby. Another day, another vlog is getting a little later than usual for the vlog. You see it's posted by now. It is 9.25. Vlog is being edited. This is my dinner. It's yogurt. And then afterwards, I'm gonna have some carbs. I've been 
weirdly hungry. This is a weird thing I've noticed when I exercise and go to the gym. Right after I go to the gym, I'm not that hungry even if I haven't had that much food up until the gym. Then the next day when it's my break day from the gym, I feel like I can't get enough carbs. Any doctors out there that have like a scientific explanation for that? So Saturday and Sunday when I went for my jogs, I wasn't super duper hungry on those days. I guess today's Monday and I didn't really exercise today. And all day I've been feeling like, why can't I stop eating? Anyways, I'm rambling. That means it's time to end today's vlog. Until tomorrow, we're gonna do a little road trip tomorrow. Bye YouTube.